Good morning, everyone. KP here. <laughs> Waking up early on this Saturday morning for the Halloween Horror Night preview of two of the haunted houses that are going to be shown this weekend. If you want to see these houses, it looks like you're going to have to try to come here Saturday or Sunday and maybe try to be here early to get a reservation time. Looks like they're doing the uh, the reservation on the app. Uh, I'm going to head on up to the garage and see what the crowd looks like. All right. Here we are, lined up at the Universal Parking Garage. Looks like uh, they're not open just yet. Oh, those cars started to move. Maybe it's time. All right, just arrived. And uh, there's no crowd just yet. <laughs> the early birds are walking up. Looks like it shouldn't be too bad <laughs> from what everyone was saying on Facebook about the early morning, but school's back in. Summer's over, so maybe, maybe it will be less than predicted. So get here early is preferred, I'm pretty sure. Talk to you soon. Alright, so far not so bad of a security line was like walk through. People dressing up a little bit. Still not too crowded. I need a stabilizer one day. Thanks for dealing with the choppy walking. Shaky camera vid so far. Thanks for watching anyways. Oh, gotta get your surf on. The Beyonce cut. <laughs> or your Cinnabon on. <laughs> and three and four, where are they at? Probably gonna get copyrighted because of this. You just break off band from the. Uh, I forgot what that band is. Wow, actually, nice, cool, breezy morning. I'm sure it will get sweltering hot. <laughs> there ain't no clouds in the sky. Right, Globe? That's right. <laughs> mm. Either side by the umbrellas. Either side by the umbrellas if you already have your park ticket. If you're here for early parking mission, it is only an Islands of Adventure today. Thank you. You're very welcome. Well, here it is. Parked under a tree in line in front of the ticket booth. It's going to be interesting. Not too, too crowded just yet, but um, looks like it's going to be. <laughs> All right, getting busier. Let me know if you recognize anybody. I'm <laughs> rich. Yeah, you were telling me I was laughing. Line up, wrapping around all over the entryway. Rick's like spotting. Man, Rick's 
sure does like yellow. <laughs> hours I believe for universal sense. They open back up for the COVID era. I'll be behind these line cutters. Thank you. All right, the other line got cut off for virtual queue. So, able to get into the pre line for the other house. Oh, that ought to be cool. Already going backstage. Mm -hmm. 
here's a building where they do some uh, functions at. Kind of like a sound stage inside there. One of the smaller ones. Rocket from a different angle. Mm -hmm. To the sound stages, we go. That's like the first place we've been. Yeah. The social distancing has started. Express. Just think of it as the fourth dimensional porthole where the train has to go through before it reaches its destination. our way closer to the entry of the first house. The rip ride rocket behind me. <laughs> Pretty interesting view of the rip ride rocket. Alright, it's about to happen. Say goodbye to rip ride rocket. Hello, haunted house. Right. Got your face covering. Oh, I might have to do a hand sanitizer. Hey there. Make sure there's no class of taxi or reporting. No report? With an app. Okay. Fairy. That was fantastic. Ah, <laughs> oh, sorry I couldn't record. Yeah, honestly, it was so dark in there. It wouldn't have come up on my camera. But, uh, <laughs> man, get yourself down to Universal for some amazing haunted house. The Revenge of the Tooth Fairy. I was lucky enough to get in the pre-line before the virtual line, so uh, got to take a tour of the backstage underneath Rip Ride Rocket. What an amazing house that was. Set design, characters were on point, ready to throw down. All right, um, I gotta check the virtual queue, find out if I could get in the other one. So. Uh, Talk to you soon.
Oh, it looks like they have started some virtual shoe lines. The tribute store is out the door, no doubt. Beetlejuice is even in line. <laughs> in the line for Revenge of the Tooth Fairy. Lining up still. But we already did that, so onward. To further adventure. Hey, Jimmy. Try to do float on or the Bob Mountain. Hmm. Night at Bob Mountain or float on. I'm, I'm in a relaxed mood today. I think I want to choose float on by Modest now. Oh. Gotta get on my social distance. Dot. I have to keep checking on the virtual queue for for the Bride of Frankenstein. Not sure if I'm gonna get in there. Anyways, I saw one house and it was really good. So, oh man, I never. I think I've always walked up here too quick to check this out. You gotta see this. I got this display of uh, what could fall out of your pocket. That's pretty funny. Welcome to... Oh, look at that camera. Done. Uh, yeah. Put that stuff in your wallet. I mean, in your locker. Oh, there's the touch chairs, too. Man, you walk all... I'll pass all this stuff when they're, they're not paying attention. Mm, so orange and black. Yeah, sure. Alright, well, I got so lucky when I was in line for Rip Fried Rocket right before I had to get a locker. I was able to click on a virtual queue for 9.40. For the Frankenstein house, huh. Friday Frankenstein. So already scanned it to wait in the line. Park is kind of crowded, but you did make it here early. There is a good chance you could get some virtual queue lineups. Gonna be uh, stopping them. Um, they got some cool little spray painted dots on there. Long. Wow, the house is that way. Here's a look the other way. I'm gonna have to walk. Boy, the Rip Ride Rocket line is loud. Sad there ain't no concerts going on. Because of that. <laughs> Wash them hands. Step, step, step. Wear that mask. Stand in six feet. Do that thing. Oh, from Beetle Beasters. Man, these people behind me keep creeping up. <laughs> Let me see if I can video that. Even though there's these markers, like, they're good like 10 feet away to help just distance it, but. 
Watch what people do. Honestly, there's a big glare on my phone. But this KP here, remember to like and subscribe on Mad the Shield on YouTube. Fun stuff going on. Universal Horror Night Haunted Houses preview of two of the houses. But, um, Guessing that doesn't hurt a lot of the past Halloween Horror Night shirts. Dang, and I guess good to bring your dark parasol. Damn, people getting wise with the umbrella bringing these days. Look at that band set up. Maybe it's just him. But there isn't a concert going on. This is a pretty good view. Maybe they should set up like this for social distance. And you can stand on the dot on the lawn. Set up some big screens over by the lagoon in case you can't get in this area. I don't know anything to maybe do. A brand new way of doing concerts for now. I know some people wouldn't be right near the stage, but you know what? A concert is a concert in this era, so why not do this? Maybe without the barricades, just have the dots on the ground and set up some big screens around the rest of the park. So that maybe you could kind of see it around that lagoon in the middle. It's projected on one of those a fountain screens that they do for the nighttime show. It will be unique. Might not be perfect, but uh, I'm ready to see some Universal concerts. Social distance or not, I'll take it. Social distance. Live music is live music. Anyways, I would take that 100% Darius record on a social distance concert. Well, why the hell wouldn't I? <laughs> uh, now, just the Universal Halloween Horror Night preview. We'll take that. Didn't even expect to get it this year. The social distance. But they uh, opened up two of the soundstage houses. Bride of Frankenstein and Revenge of the Tooth Fairy. I got to do that one right when it opened. I just walked a pre-virtual queue line right at nine o'clock when it opened. And that was awesome. It was way better than I would have thought. Haunted houses can be hit or miss, right? Set design goes into play. These characters have to be like into it. And uh, they had it all. Everything is going on at Revenge of the Tooth Fairy. So we'll check out um, Bride of Frankenstein now. Look at this line lining up. Social distance. It's a little bit before I get to the entryway. And I'm not, unfortunately, I guess I'm not allowed to film during but that's okay that will save it for surprise for anybody that comes this weekend just today and tomorrow so far that they announced that they're doing this so you know a big crowd coming annual pass live here comes the message <laughs> 
talking about it. this under the track view we got going on. Oh man, the line's moving too fast. I don't think I'll can see it from this angle. I'm trying, I'm trying the sun. The sun. Here it comes. When I was young, I got to sit in the audience for, for one of those. I was, it took all day because you watched like three different shows or something. Uh, pretty cool, the history of these sound stages. Now, mostly used for Halloween Horror Night. Set up some big time haunted houses because this is big time, but for Universal, it's a kind of a shame that they weren't able to exactly do it this year because the parks get so crowded during um, these fish yeah. All right, yeah, so. Yeah, big time money for Universal at these Halloween Horror Nights, if you don't already know. It can be like shoulder to shoulder when you're just walking around the park. Those nine Titan events and people drinking a lot of alcohol. It gets kind of wild. So it is a shame. Hopefully, though, this promotion of the two days, maybe it's a trial to see if they can open up. I don't know. Let me get back to you, though. I'm about to head in. I gotta put sanitizer on. Alright, just got done. <laughs> that was fantastic. 
I mean, it wasn't as scary as uh, the Tooth Fairy, but the set design was amazing, and they were on it. That was fun. Uh, super good time. Nice that they did this for at least the annual pass holders, right? If anything. Because, uh... We thought we were going to totally miss out on um, Horror Nights for sure. There are these um, Halloween Horror Nights themed food trucks. Franken fried chicken. <laughs> and funnel brains. <laughs> Elected skin and guts. Alright, that's fun. Right, Frankenstein? Yeah, I'll be up here if you need me. Spinning in a circle with my classic horror friends. So, Saturday, just got out of the haunted houses. Uh, let me try to do a quick review. The Revenge of the Toothpaste. Man, it was the best. It was the scariest. It had these little shorter tooth fairy creatures look kind of like a gremlin and a ghoulie or a goblin oh they looked a little bit like Gollum from Lord of the Rings but that's how I can explain it and they were pretty scary they were on it in your face and the set design was really cool it was like an antique old house I don't know from like the 1800s I would say my guest kind of looking like a haunted house that you gotta walk through and avoid that tooth fairy she come to get you there was I think a brother tooth fairy that dressed up almost like a state pup marshmallow man <laughs> with one of those little sailor hats but that was so awesome and that's the one I started with so that was really cool then there was um Bride of the Frankenstein. I don't know if it would be considered as scary, but it was it was fun. It had great set design. An old castle, like uh, Frankenstein's castle. They had a lot of the doctor set up, uh, taking in and out old human parts. And the Bride of Frankenstein. She was trying to restore that. Oh, check out these pops in Halloween. Gotta go to the quick Man, okay, it's getting busy. Look, they're coming in. Coming in, no doubt. Coming in hot. I got through the haunted houses real quick. I think I'm getting adventure. My friend gave me a tip that was there with some pumpkin. Uh, Pumpkin scavenger hunt. And I'm going to the Universal store. Said it was maybe in here. Here I'm here. Let me switch it around.